In this video, we're going to be learning about tangent lines to a circle. So, if we have a circle right here, a tangent to a circle is a line in the plane of the circle, so kind of on the same level, that intersects the circle in exactly one point. So, over here, this line L is a tangent line. So, right here, this is tangent because it intersects the circle at only one point P. So some line like this wouldn't be a tangent line because it intersects twice. So it has to only intersect once. The point where a circle and the tangent line intersect, that point P, is called the point of tangency. So right here, P is the point of tangency, and remember there's exactly one of them. We also get this really cool theorem from this. So if we have this tangent line now, AB, right here, if a line is tangent and it intersects with this radius, so at P, at this point of tangency, it intersects. So let's write that. If a line is tangent and intersects with a radius. You can almost see by looking at it, it creates a 90 degree angle. So when we've got our radius and our tangent line, we get a nice right angle right there. So we actually get some really fun problems, in my opinion, from these tangent lines with circles. So let's start off with this first example and see what we know. Well, I have two tangent lines, right? I have this line, oh, that's, that's too big. So I have this line LM and I have this line NM and if they're tangent, I know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. Now, how is that going to help me find out what X degrees is? Well, remember back in the day when we did polygons, we had that formula for figuring out how many angles is in a polygon based on the number of sides. It was N minus 2 times 180 equals, in this case, 4 minus 2 times 180 is 360 degrees. So what we figure out is that four-sided figures add to 360 degrees. And look at that. We have a four-sided figure. So if it adds to 360, add them up. So 117 plus 90 plus 90 plus x equals 360, which is 297 plus x equals 360. That means that x is 63 degrees. So remember, first we used the 90 degree thing with the tangent lines, and then we applied our knowledge back to what we learned about polygons. Let's try this next one. So let's see what we have. Well, we've got a triangle. We've got this line, DE, that's a tangent line. So if it's tangent and it connects with the radius, that connects at 90 degrees. Now look, I've got a triangle. Triangles add to 180 degrees. So if they add up, let's add them up. 38 plus 90 plus X equals 180. 128 plus x equals 180. That means that x is 52 degrees. So I think these problems are kind of fun. <laughs> Let's see what else we can learn about tangent lines. So this is a really cool property about tangent lines. If AB and BC are tangent to this circle O, 
and see how they intersect at that point B? Then we know that they're congruent. So AB is congruent to BC. That means any time we see these two segments that are tangent and connect with each other, they're actually the same length, which is a pretty cool thing to be able to say. So let's look at this first circle. We are trying to solve for x. And it might help to highlight your tangent lines. I see a tangent line there. I see a tangent line here. And I see my radius is 16.1. Now, sometimes these problems have extra information needed, but you don't actually need it. So this 16.1 is actually not even needed for this problem. Because for this problem, if we see this tangent line intersecting this tangent line, we know they're equal. If they're equal, set them equal. So 3x minus 1 equals x plus 15. Now I'm going to subtract x from both sides and add 1 to both sides. I get 2x equals 16, which means x equals 8. If I wanted to go back and figure out what that side length was, I could just plug it back into either side. So maybe I plug it in here. 8 plus 15 is 23. Notice you don't have to plug it in on the other side because you automatically know, but I'll show you anyway. 3 times 8 minus 1 is 23. So both of these side lengths are 23. Now, here is, I think, the most fun part. Find the perimeter of the polygon. So this problem seems really complicated, but it's actually pretty easy once you work your way around. So remember, perimeter means just to add up all the sides. Now the first thing I like to do is get out four different color highlighters. So, love highlighters. So here we have our first tangent line. Which one is this equal to? Well, it intersects this tangent line. Then I have another one. I have this tangent line is equal to this tangent line. Then I know this tangent line is equal to this tangent line. And last up, I know this tangent line is equal to this tangent line. So let's start with this orange one. These two are equal. If they're equal, then if that one's 8.9, this one's 8.9, but just the orange segment. Next up, 5.8 is this blue one down here. If this is equal, this one's equal. So this one's also 5.8. Now in pink, they say this one's 12. Well, if that one's 12, this one's also 12. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Now they're telling me that 18.2 is the entire line. Well, if 18.2 is the entire line, and I want to know what this side is, to figure it out, I'll do 18.2 minus the pink part, minus 12, which is 6.2 which means this blue side is 6.2. And last up, if that side's 6.2, this side's 6.2. So now I'm going to add up all the sides. There's a few ways you can do this. You can add the 18.2 side, or you can just say, well, I know there's, I have two 6.2s. I have two 12s. I have two 5.8s. And I have two 8.9s. Any way you want to add them up where you add them all up, it's totally fine. So our perimeter is when we added them all up and we get 65.8. So those are my most favorite problems in geometry maybe. And that's it for tangent line.